Hello, my name is Jeremy Brune and I'm here to share my lifetime passion for woodworking and in particular my new venture into CNC woodworking. In my first video I said CNC was an adventure and I didn't know where I was going. Well, this is partly true because I wanted to discover what special things a CNC router can do. But I did have in the back of my mind uh, certain tasks that I'd likely want to do. I'll come to that in a moment. But first a report on my progress in getting this small desktop CNC machine working. I had a few glitches um, that took up hours and hours of time uh, trying to get the spindle to work. And I discovered I'd made a really stupid mistake when I moved the machine from one room to another. I put the spindle cable in the wrong socket in the back of the controller box. So it was quite some moment watching that tiny cutter rotate as the spindle fired up uh, and sounding more like a jet aircraft preparing for takeoff. Wow, I can hardly hear that spindle work. And it's a water-cooled one, which was a good choice. Now I also wired in an Xbox controller so that I could see what I was doing in operating the X, Y and Z or Z axes. I then attached a scrap piece of chipboard as my first spoiler board, uh, just making sure it was flat and firm. And then I used my old favourite, a hot melt glue gun, to attach a piece of softwood onto the platform, ready to do my first cuts. Now there's nothing to beat a glue gun for making temporary bonds. First cuts I'm doing manually and without all the complex programming that's required to generate the g-codes and which I don't understand at all. All this is going to take a lot of time but I'm impatient to see and hear the cutter engaging with the wood and so by jogging the joystick to make cuts of well no more than a couple of millimeter I was able to listen to the pitch of the spindle as it engages with the wood and also play around with different cutting speeds without looking at the computer. So I think it was a good decision to link in this little game controller uh, to get to know my machine initially. But I must admit the laptop commands are a little less confusing uh, as uh, you know in what is forward, sideward and upward motion. But then everything is practice. Now just take a look at the kind of cutters I use when routing. I'm hoping to use some of these cutters on the larger CNC machine that I'm building and hope to install a larger spindle on it with a half inch collet. But this tiny machine is more of an engraving machine, beautifully built and serving my needs in helping me learn how all of this works. The obvious first simple cutting tasks are surface skimming and then cutting shallow grooves. Ultimately I want to use CNC mostly for 2D cutting such as profiling plywood components uh, that can be stack laminated uh, in my furniture. Now, I've spent many hours online trying to find the most basic point and squirt software but just learning the CNC jargon is time consuming. I think I must have some kind of dyslexia or block uh, to retaining the massive amount of knowledge required for CAD and CAM programming. I'm going to be looking at shortcuts such as digital scanning probes and digitized plotting tables to very quickly generate the all important G codes. So please keep tuned, uh, subscribe and ask to be notified to watch my progress that hopefully will help you if you are a total beginner at CNC woodworking as I am. Thanks for watching.